And we're live. This is the Billy Bobby Hour. Whoop, whoop, Bobby. Whoop. So Billy Bobby, Billy Bobby, Billy Bobby, Billy Bobby, Billy Bobby, and Billy Bobby. All right. We have done it. We are Chickety on China, the Chinese chicken. Oh, oh yeah, thank you, ladies. But we are here. AJ, what is happening behind you? <laughs> uh, you'll what? have to watch you really Deadfall to find out. Headfall? Deadfall. Deadfall? Yeah, it's a movie Nicolas Cage's brother wrote and directed, and it's horrible. <laughs> but it's kind of one of those brilliant train wrecks that you just can't turn away from. He, did he write it for him? No, he wrote it for himself. <laughs> but what I mean is, like, did he... Did he write it so that his brother would play in it? No, Cage isn't even the main character. Oh, he's not? Yeah. You could have fooled me. He's done a bunch of Coppola films. He did a bunch of his uncle's films, um, and he never played the main character. That's his uncle? Francis Ford Coppola? Yeah. Mm hmm. No way. Wait, Listen to the Wickerman pod and find out more. Yeah. <laughs> Is Nick Cage's uncle? Is Francis Ford Coppola, the guy who directed The Godfather and... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had no idea that they now. were related. Yeah. I, all right, so I didn't even intend on finding this thing today. I kind of just like stumbled on it, and I just knew what it was. But um, I was taking Rocco out, and... Um, Who's Rocco? Rocco's my dog. And um, no, he's, he's actually my human friend that I keep in the basement. <laughs> I just take him out every once in a while and get some fresh air. Rocco, get back in your cell. <laughs> Don't make me get the hose. <laughs> garlic bread. But um, so Rocco catches uh, some wind of some deer and he takes off and he's, he's chasing these deer around. And I'm like embarrassed. So I'm, after I get him back from chasing the deer, you know, we're sitting down and we're having a talk, and which is just him catching his breath. And I'm walking through the trails and and I see this plant that kind of looks like something I have in my backyard. And um, I walk over to it and it was just right in front of me. Brought him home and cooked him up. It was a, it's a yellow the morel. The mushroom you told us about last week. Where, yeah. Yeah. No, uh, it's like completely it? by chance. Like I, I had no intention. <laughs> I was actually thinking about, it wasn't I was thinking about the, like how. The, the mushroom hunting book that you've been reading? Yeah. Did you, learn, did you use any of those tactics that you Technique learned from that did. book on this <laughs> hunt? I used all of them. Oh, well, there you go. All yeah. of them. <laughs> I was wearing oh. shoes. I was in the woods. Um, <laughs> it's and I, steps one and two. <laughs> they, they told you to breathe on every alternate step. <laughs> and uh, Wait, That's pretty but, cool. You cooked it up then. Yeah. What yeah, yeah. You just like stir fried or not stir fried. You just sauteed in some butter, and it was Ooh. uh, it was kind of like a a subtle mushroom flavor with um, like it gets real crispy around the edges, so there's like some crunch to it, and uh, it was delicious. I mean, like the, the 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 salted butter had like just enough salt where you could like really taste it. I'm gonna go hunt some more down. Dude, I can't believe you stumbled upon monster. that. You're not gonna <laughs> stop right? until you've harvested all of the mushrooms Dude. in the forest. People travel all over the place to go find these things. And I just found it on happenstance a week after I said I was going to do something that I had no intention of following through on. Uh, <laughs> that's rich. Well, you know what? That's rich. <laughs> that's rich. Create your own reality. So you projected this out last week and it happened. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's like you created a vision board for it and it's, yeah. it's just magically. And the cool thing is that um, if you pick them the right way, which, which I – believe I did, uh, they can grow back. Nice. It might take there a year. I was going to say, you should have just like left some more or whatever. Oh, yeah, then, yeah. Uh, oh, left yeah. some spore and then, you know, they just, like, <laughs> keep going back. Reading them. <laughs> yeah, uh, it doesn't quite work like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, dude. You're I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'm not much of a mycologist. Years down the so. road and James is just living in this grass hut surrounded by <laughs> Yo. Yes, I'm it's a just a giant shrooms, mushroom. Just like... It's like a big, it's like a giant like uh, puffball mushroom. It's just like carved out of hose. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. That'd be that. nuts. You know, they like <laughs> covering yourself in spores, like uh, Nicholas Cage is covered himself in paint. 
<laughs> that paint or why would I do that? I don't the Boys. bees. The bees. Evan, could you explain your background? My background? Oh, this wonderful video of us <laughs> doing a vid rhythm with what seems to be while driving, <laughs> which I've been slowly realizing watching it. I did not even realize that. I I'm driving see... while you're doing this shit. <laughs> but so Bit Rhythm me? was an app that came out where they just ask you. It's like Mad Libs, but for like a music video, pretty much. That's like, actually a very like, base snare. Snap, snap, just snap. fill in whatever you want. Yeah, you give yeah, them a like... sound and they come up with this whole fucking tune. I tried to find it, it the awesome. other day. They don't make it anymore. Man, it's those are good times. We like we like made some some bangers with that. Yeah, and I think I was reading. I literally tried to find it a couple days ago because the video came up in my videos, and it, I think it actually the like that product actually belongs to a big music company like Roland or something like that. Could you and play I one? I guess they don't make it anymore. You can just synchronize it. Oh my god, it goes, it goes on, on too long. long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is actually really long. Wait, yo, but that was like that was like some Jersey Club mix right there. That was that was hot. <laughs> you still DJing? You still bringing that to the clubs or what? <laughs> Me? Oh yeah, I drop that shit. Not for time. California? No. It's like I I go up to the DJ like yo, put my phone on real, real quick. <laughs> just like, slip right, in I got the, you. the cassette. I got you, yeah, just one time. It's like yo, great idea. <laughs> that would never happen anywhere ever. Yeah, exactly. Can you imagine if you're DJing and some dude was like yo, put my phone on, bro. Like, oh, thank God you're here. Get the fuck out of here. You got a hundred bucks? Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> just saying, I wish someone would just come up to me right now and give me their, their demo or something because I'm on fresh out. I wish someone who knew how to do this would just come up here and do this for me. Imagine how much more money you can make though if you're like, I don't take requests once you get a hundred bucks and then like 10 people come up and make a thousand more dollars. Dude, enough. you can make, you know, yeah, you pay can make you, so like, much money. All the girls. You gotta be a big DJ. Just, here's my wallet. Yeah. Big DJ, huge. Stop! Yeah, is that the chicken giant yeah. dinosaur simulator? Oh my god! It's, it's a thousand T Rexes versus eighty thousand chicken. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I George heard about that. Man. Wait, wait. Can you just like? <laughs> There's a the bunch of different. It's a twenty-two ones. minute video. So for the rest of the oh podcast, it's just gonna turn into whatever. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much get to see. Like the I whole fast thing forward a little bit and like uh, get some. I do not have juicy that points. Unfortunately. Nah, I, well, so by the end of this, we'll know who wins. <laughs> At least yeah, no we'll, there'll be resolution. Yo, I love watching. I see only simulators. one chicken now. Where's the rest of them? This one's just the scout. He's he's checking out his competition. I think. Is that seriously what's that. going on? He's just like, oh, that's, a, that's an advanced simulator. Normally, they just kind of like clash at each other. Man, they just. <laughs> who made this? I There's know. a lot of them, dude. There's a lot of. Uh, a lot of what? These like giant battles of useless. Oh yeah, ones. man. There's like whole YouTube channels. <laughs> oh man, like I thought this channels. was gonna be less distracting than Nicolas Cage. It's so distracting. <laughs> <He's not laughs> watching. Oh, we're just gonna watch watch it needs to begin already. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, want, we were trying to watch this. Yeah. So <laughs> once one goes, is it just like all gonna break out? Oh, I hope, man. I can't be here forever. I mean, it is only 22 minutes long. There is a beginning oh, and, and an end to it. So. All right, well, I guess we'll just see how this goes. It's going to happen pretty, uh, pretty That's quick. That's awesome. So I, w- so I kind of want to know what the simulator is because someone asked me a question. I thought it was a very good question. Like I actually had to think about it for a while. It's like it was a would you rather. And it was – let me see if I can remember this right. Yeah. Would you rather – fight off a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Um, probably a hundred duck-sized horses. Why? Probably that. Because Be a, giant, a giant horse-sized duck 
It's gonna I have like it's gonna have like a nine foot exploding corkscrew barbed penis. <laughs> nine. And I don't, I really yeah, don't want to like. Feet you feet feet not that big. I'll accurate, take the duck. Dude. Yo, I'll take like a, a duck. Like a like a regular mallard duck, right? The thing's like I don't know, sixteen inches tall. They have a nine inch corkscrew penis. Like, what's the that, that actually on that? corkscrews the opposite way of the duck vagina? So it's like this horribly painful <laughs> rape every single time they reproduce. And there's yeah, like and false passages like and things like that. It's crazy. But if you had a horse sized duck, and that thing you're just saying think about that to think you were a lady duck. duck. Well, it would have if it was a horse sized duck, it it would have a proportionally sized dick and that dick would is be it, like is it going to attack you with it, it it might who knows you just you have to contend with a wild mm-hmm. animal at this point but like, the fact that sure. that was your first concern it wouldn't be nice me that is the scariest thing about a duck in my opinion my <laughs> first thought was was think about the crushing power of the yeah of the bill you know or like well yeah, that's you know, true but catching a tail yeah, like the zombie face. horde of size right? of a right like a uh, horse that shit can fuck you up yep they're battling Oh, they're finally they're battling. They're but battling, the duck, yeah. I don't know how this is going to be close no. because <laughs> a T-Rex can at all. easily eat 80 chickens. How can any amount of chickens kill one T-Rex? <laughs> they, they just can't do this it. Is, <sighs> but, this is, but this is exactly it. It's the horde mentality. It's like, yes, you got a hundred duck-sized horses coming at you. You can kick them one, uh, one by one, but you're going to get tired. You're going to tire out. They're yeah, gonna I'll over, take the one. Like, the fear you're is that they're going to overwhelm you. Out and shit. Yeah, exactly. Well, how would they like, get you on the ground? What are you talking about? They're, they're there's a hundred of them. Duck-sized horses. Dude, like, they if are they duck trample size horses. you. What, they, yeah, a like, duck-sized horse. horse. It's the okay, quantity. so think about, quantity. like, a mini you horse. Just step on them. Like a, like a mini, mini horse. That's the problem here. Like, just beat the me? crap out of it. Well, like, yes, the, I like understand if it was pounds, one or two. Now, think about a hundred. Or like you know, just your regular old garden shears or something like that. I'm just like, like you I'm don't not need saying... fancy weaponry to get rid of a hundred duck-sized horses. Like they're not even going to eat the let's, meat. But let's You're going to get like these happening... little tiny nibbles. And there's going to be a lot of little tiny nibbles, dude. Let's a horse-sized duck like has this. got this bill that's just going to crush you, and then he's going to fuck your dead body with his nine-foot exploding. All right, wait. A beam. horse-sized duck would basically be. Who hurt you, James? Size of like <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I've been I've been bit by several ostrich when I was younger. So a duck a duck that big would be like the size of a an, of of an ostrich, which is not that scary. Which isn't that big, but you but know a, what? An ostrich can think... kick a hole through your chest. What are you talking about? You so the you'd rather fight? Dangerous. You'd rather fight a hundred mini horses, yeah. than fight an ostrich. A hundred mini horses yeah. is not a lot. If it was like ten thousand mini horses. I'd, can I you would, even I, kill I, I five mini horses? Yes. Yeah, I, dude, I, I could kill so many mini horses, dude. Yeah, but I, I, still, I still, still don't days. think that it's that easy of an answer. Like, I still think that. Well, choose two different animals, because. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. how are we it's battling? No guns, right? No guns. Right. Choose guns like two like predatory animals. That that's how are we like battling these these things though? Because I can kill any any amount of anything with a gun. Right, that's what I'm saying, man. So no guns? Because guns, the the either one no, is fine. no guns. <laughs> no, no, no guns. Rocket launchers? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just hand combat? No guns, but like maybe like, if you have no a, weapons at all. Hand to hand combat? What would you rather fight? Like, could I now wear you a pair of heavy? Easily boots? overwhelmed by horses. Well, that's a good question. If I could, I would like, be afraid of a hundred chickens. But even why, with a why gun, would you be afraid of a hundred chickens? I feel like it's still birds overwhelming. Fucking What's pecking the... at you? <clears throat> why? It's not I mean, like they woke a... up to you one by one. You, if like... they're all attacking you, sure. But wh- like, why would they attack? Oh, you? oh dude. Right. Well, let me let me rephrase this. These dude, dinosaurs, some whole going down. Some dinosaurs are so dying. Imagine. They killed the. How are they they're even attacking, attacking you like us? this? It's like all at once. Yeah, overwhelm. Look at like Kill dude, Bill, but everyone's not just standing there running. In place. <laughs> all right. So if it's like the simulator, then I could 100% kill 100 uh, duck-sized horses. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think I think you might have to put up a fight. I, I'm not saying I, I'm not gonna get hurt, but what about what about a whale-sized it's... mosquito? <laughs> what? Or a swarm of swarm of mosquito sized whales. Uh, mosquito sized whales, hundred percent. Uh yeah, so that's, not, that's, that's not that's <laughs> not whales got nothing if it ain't big. Wait, 
<laughs> mosquito sized whale. Think about that. It's just like this, like so. giant, like, like <laughs> funnel thing. It'd be like a foot, like, <laughs> like, like agile cool. as fuck. The whale? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. It'd be the scariest thing on the planet. <laughs> How are we doing with this simulator battle right now? Is there like a score card? No, it like, just goes until it's wow, done. How many T-Rexes are there? T-rexes. 100? They're a hundred? They're dying. A thousand. A thousand Rexes versus 80,000 chickens. Oh, the chickens are going to win. I think so. By Look looking at, at that right now, look, they, got, they got a couple down already. <laughs> and <laughs> it's like, just like a blob just of Rexes. Tail and just That's what I'm thinking. Kill every fucking chicken in the place oh man when they bite they kill like 10 chickens at a time yo maybe these are like those, Look, those mexican fighting chickens it's that are equipped cool. with the little daggers and they're just like oh true these are like asian fighting <laughs> yeah dude these guys have been in the pits yo yo when they yeah, bite them they, they literally bite like a splash of chickens Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of chicken uh, splash <laughs> So how are the chickens fighting? They're pecking them? That's what they're doing? Look, man, all I'm saying is that I think if you figure out ways to maneuver like a hunter, you can kill this this one uh, horse-sized duck. I'm still taking the horse-sized duck. Dude, yeah, I may agree right. with you. Uh, right? I'll speak kindly at your funerals. <laughs> Bro, I'm just saying, like, I think you're going to tire the- yourself out so much. Because think about how how much, a ho- how dense like a horse is. Like a That's what I'm saying. You would, wait, wait. That's you would rather muscle. fight a huge like a giant animal versus a bunch of smaller animals? Yes. Why? Yes, they were hang out dense with a like horse, horse before. What, what big ass? Yeah, right, Evan. Stepped. Would you rather you fight one horse with a skip or a hundred duck-sized horses? Right. I mean, like you're dealing with a big ass bird. It's it's gonna be a bird. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. It's yeah, got, but it it's gonna bird. be one. It might not be, be able one to just bird. Back into it. Like it's just one bird. One really right. fucking big bird. One eight hundred <laughs> pound bird. But I think you can use strategy. Like to me, it's like the like. Think about the zombie apocalypse, right? Like, how do those guys go? Like, they go because they're just completely they're, – they got them one by one, but as soon as they, like, slip up one thing, it's like <laughs> one latches and then another. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, exactly. <sighs> and then just – that's it. You know, and then, and then you're done. To me, like, as tiny as they are, it's like they're dense, they're meaty. They probably, like – even if you kick them around, because like I think that's a possibility. You just like kick them, and they can like maybe die from die from impact. Or even if you took like a you're gonna break your foot at some point, dude. I'm exactly. like, all right, I think it's I'm gonna be 200 pounds, right? I can just take one step on its back, and the thing's done, right? I can do that probably for eight hours. Wait, who's back? The the tiny horse size horse. Hours, no, the tiny duck sized horse, right? You're you know. It's like, well, one pound, not even a pound, right? You no, just... see, that's where I think you're wrong. Like, I think it would be like, so let's think about Ducks how much big. like a duck weighs. You're really just scaling the animal, right? If so, you can tell me how much, if you so wait, are you, a are duck, you, you're a witch. Like the are you saying it's not by weight? Or are you saying it's, you saying it's by, remains. is it like by dimension or proportion? Like, do you, are you, how are you scaling this animal up? Because I'm doing it by weight. Just, just size. Nope, just size. So but it's not like the size? horses are. <clears throat> so like take feet take a horse. At the shoulder? Let's say a horse is. If I were to use math, this is. I'm gonna really butcher this now. A horse is like six feet tall at the shoulder. Dude, okay, a let's duck say, weighs let's say three a horse, and a half pounds. Oh, big okay, deal. Okay, how much does a horse weigh? It's mostly feathers. Well, hang on, good right, size exactly. twenty to twenty six. How, how big is a horse? How big is a horse? I'm on the same boat as you. I was thinking by weight. So like. Yeah. Like you, horse is six feet tall. The body of a duck and the body of a horse take all the appendages out, and like, not talking about how tall it is. Like, think of the solid muscle of like the shoulders to rear of a horse, and put that as the duck's body, and then you got its neck, and then you got its feet. No, 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 no. You're you're facing a duck. So So you want to? Are you talking about a six foot duck or an eight hundred? Can I give you these stats really quick? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us the stats. No, no, we okay. Look, a miniature horse is anywhere between 15 to 22 inches tall at birth, and then they grow up to be around 30, 
eight inches, forty inches. A miniature they weigh horse. Anywhere no, up to hundred. We're not talking about a mini horse. Wait, 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 wait. They weigh up to one hundred and fifty to three hundred fifty pounds. Okay, so that's a horse that size. Now a mallard is twenty to twenty four inches tall. So make the horse a little bit smaller. Probably around a hundred pounds. 150 pounds. Yeah, I have to uh, see the horse. mass in front of me. You have to figure it out. For so me. wait, we haven't even decided on wh- how we're scaling this, right? It, right. So this, this is, is this just by height or by weight. Feet tall? Are we difference. doing it? Yeah. Is it height or let's, is it let's, weight? Let's pump the brakes, boys. Ready? Because a six so, foot tall duck is going to be like a hundred pounds. Exactly. Not eight hundred pounds. So pump. Hold on. Let's stop right here. The animals are still the animals. This is a bad question. You should have this phrased just, this better. This is I'm just upset. size. You need more so I, I said it exactly <laughs> how I meant it. Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck? So it's still a duck. It's it's lighter proportionally to its to its size, right? It's okay. not necessarily like heavy or whatever. So it's not an eight hundred pound duck. It's a six it's foot tall big. duck. It's a six foot tall duck, or a however tall a foot tall horse, or a hundred foot tall horses it's just size that's being scaled so just obviously height. you do the math and each horse is still gonna is gonna be pretty light but it's not gonna be like a pound or it's not gonna be like three pounds you know what i mean it might be i don't know you gotta do the math i don't know i'm not doing the math all right well right if now. you're doing it just by height i would take the one duck because no, why day. is this a question on the internet because <laughs> people have too well, much I, well, I told you <laughs> is it I've been asked this before. <laughs> ah! I wish I could show you this picture. But, but Julian, I mean, when you read the question, <laughs> me and James thought in a completely different way. When you said size, like, right. I'm thinking about the weight coming at me as the size of the animal. So we're just, we right. interpret it differently. So let's change it up. Would you rather fight 10 bear sized ducks or one duck sized bear? Like a like a big like eleven foot tall Alaskan coastal brown bear, so an eleven foot tall duck, or a hundred, like little tiny like by the size like a three pound little little brown bear. Little bears. Bears. I'd rather fight you the would, little. You bears. would rather fight the little bears. Nah, see, for I think based on the same principle, I would go for the for the big duck. Because I feel like I would be overwhelmed. Now it's like tw- now it's twice the size, dude. Yeah. It's twice the size of you. It's no longer the same size as you. It's but you're also twice went from size. two herbivores to like <laughs> predator. You know, well, so you would like, rather yeah. fight the predator. It's a fucking bear. You know, it knows how to rip things apart. A duck is not yeah. really like a fighter. Right. No, no, they fight. like, I feel they like fight I can strategically time. figure out a way to slay the duck. You know what I mean? And you couldn't strategically figure out a way to kill the bear? I mean, if you put your mind to it, you could figure out how to kill. I mean, if you could do it anyway, I'm sure you could figure it out. All right. I, I got a question. It. What what would be the the smaller size animal that you would least want to square up against? Like something the size of a duck, like a hundred of duck. them. Duck. <laughs> <That's> a badger. <laughs> scare you, what? Yeah, like, like a honey like badger. Like a badger. Or uh, Wolverine. Those things are relentless, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> not, not from experience. <laughs> yeah, well, I've never met one. Hmm. I was thinking like a mountain ram, like something that's just gonna keep fucking oh, a ram. I was a little that would bigger hurt. than a duck, though. That would hurt so much over time. It'd just yeah. be like somebody, just like like a muay thai like master just like yeah and it like your it fucks down. up your shins and shit and then like yeah. you go yeah. down see that would be you have like no more awful. legs and you're running on your knees yeah that'd be terrible absolutely yeah, and what would compare bad. in like in horrific proportions to that as one big animal like that's pretty horrific <laughs> yeah so I a think. small animal the next question would be the small animal that you would be scared of if it was fucking huge. If it was big, you know. Most of them. Yeah, <laughs> most, most of them. <laughs> yeah. That's most small animals take... are not scary because they're small. <laughs> right. So but if you put like those, even those field mice with those tiny little teeth and the funny little, you know, that's like six feet tall, and it's like no, 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 it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Ja, ja, ja. yeah, yeah. It's like might as well strap a laser beam to his head or something. <laughs> <laughs> are they ill-tempered? Bass. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> we don't have I shocks, but watched, we have. I just watched one bats. and two of that recently. Uh, brought me back so many memories. Uh, yeah, it's the, it doesn't watched, get old for me. Every no. every couple years, I just watch the trilogy because it's the best. Yeah. It's needed for sure. Wait, did yeah, you think restart? Wolverine. Who won? No, oh, I don't know. No, I'm it didn't. Sure. Restart? I think this might be the second Still wave gone. or something. Shut up. There's <laughs> multiple them. waves. I'm and watching it. No, I'm like, there's uh, only a couple of them left. And now it's like a fucking thousand again. I like yours, Jules. It looks like a drone just like hovering over the city. Yeah, I think it actually is a drone footage, but it's just like super pixelated, so it looks animated. But yeah. Oh These guys my gosh! Gonna figure this shit that was tripping me out. What this guy? What the, no, the my my own backgrounds. <laughs> 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 Yo, so I don't know if you guys have any experience with this, but for Christmas, and this was something that I asked for because I think my 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 world was changed, and I'll explain why. Um, but for Christmas, I asked for a bidet, and I got nice. one. And I'm loving the nod of approval from AJ. Uh, and I finally installed it like last month. And it's just a complete, it's just a complete game changer. Like absolutely. Especially like in a world where, where the value of toilet paper has gone drastically. Oh yeah. Well, that's exactly why I bought a roll in a month, like, dude. Yeah. It's like my roommates buying toilet paper off of a pallet on a street corner for like 40 bucks or something like that. <laughs> And I'm sitting here like, well, I can't be using all this. I ran out of wipes. I was always a wipe wiper, a wipe user. Because uh, you like wipe, a clean butthole, you know? Yeah, you, exactly. Because I'm smart. I'm hygienic. So, like, <laughs> to me, the fact that the rest of America is, like, the majority of America, like, isn't, like, we're still just using toilet paper, like, baffles me. Because it's just, like, you're just making a mess. You're just smearing peanut butter on a shag carpet like that's all it is but so I, the bidet I was gonna say the amount of toilet paper people think they need that's what baffles me right and so <laughs> with with wipes or a bidet with wipes it was good it's like you do like one two three and like if three if it's that messy and like you're you're good and you're clean but then they're not like super eco-friendly so then this bidet life is like is great We'll so even have to think about it. Ash. Yeah. The first time you do it though, I don't know if you if James or Evan, you've done it. The first time you do it, I can't you can't look at anybody in the eye, really. <laughs> you just after, shamed. But after you're a little shamed, ashamed, but then after a while you just like, yeah. by water. It does feel <laughs> weird. Like you're douching yeah. your butthole. Like if if yeah, you exactly. turn it up too high, it like it actually <laughs> like, you know, it, there's a little bit of a yeah. No, That's the only thing that scares like, me because then I'm like, all right, but did I get it all out? Like, am I going to sit down and then water's going to trickle out? To me, out it's like you get, you get enough because – and you can like – you just move around a little bit. You turn it on. It doesn't even have to be that high. You just kind of like get it wet. If you feel like you got more dinkleberries in there, you turn it up a little bit. So just <laughs> knocks it out of the <laughs> Crank sky. Crank it up. Crank it up a notch. And then you just use like – I use so much less toilet paper and you're still clean. And it's just like, wow, I feel like I just showered. Like, I'm good now. I don't even have to shower. Well, see, that was what I was going to say is I feel like, though, at least between 35 to 40% of the time that I poop, I'm, like, most likely taking a shower after. Like if right I'm after. Home. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you shower after every time you poop? No. No. But, like, I don't I, do like what way. do you do at work? Every time he takes a shit, he just shits all over himself. Ah, fuck. Everywhere. <laughs> take Everywhere. a shower. It's a good I thing. shower again. You got that horizontal shower for optimal cleaning. <laughs> I need a urinal for that. I can't use that here. I hope nobody uh, enters this room. You guys use toilet paper when you pee? No. No. Same. <laughs> I like yeah. baffled for okay. sure. Do people, like, is that a thing? What do you mean you don't wipe your dick? And I was like, um, I don't. 
Why my dick? Are you guys? Yeah, it's a waste. <laughs> it's a waste. I shake yeah, it off. What's, what's the whole message? shake for? Is this shake? Just, just violent. <laughs> yeah. I, like, just whip it back and forth, you know, like like a dog. Just, like, really yeah. get it fucking... You got a giant blow on at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try to, like, wrap my nap tied to my pants. Yeah. And yeah. Just, like, <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the battery wheel. They're you know? dry. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Get some friction there. Just like, I will say, like, I never like the saying, uh, like, you know, more than three shakes and you're just playing with yourself because I'm like, well, bro, That's a there's good like, Charlotte to me, That's from Good it? Charlotte. That's that what it is? Oh Charlotte. Like, it is. That's fine. Shake oh, it yeah, twice yeah, and yeah, shake yeah, it three times. You're playing yeah, with your That was the first burn CD I ever owned. Is that really? life, Lifestyles Worse Than the Famous? Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. Dude, mine was... <laughs> Download <laughs> that on fucking Kaza. Passing good Charlotte off as wisdom. Kaza. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Kaza. Dude, that album changed my life. Like, that album is what got me into music in the first place. And now it's just like... Never heard music before Non-stop. That. Yeah, exactly. And seriously. I like Are you being for real? Enough. What? That good Charlotte was the... No, 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 no. Like... Maybe Aura... Meteor by <laughs> Lincoln Park. Oh, I was in I was in seventh grade. It was the summer of me going into seventh grade, and my friend loaned loaned it to me. And my life was changed. And then I met Good Forever. Charlotte, and I was just like, <laughs> No, I didn't really care about Good Charlotte back then. Um, James, cool. what was the first album that changed your life? Um, it was ACDC High Voltage. I got it Which when one? I was like high voltage. It was their first their oh. debut album. I got it. Um, so the story goes, I, I was like, I don't know, five or six or something like that. My grandma came to visit from Arizona and uh, she took all the kids out to uh, Best Buy. And um, I think we we're just running errands or something like that. And I really wanted to buy some music. So I bought, I, I picked up the CD off the shelf. It was the Backstreet Boys. Right. And I had never picked out a CD before. So I give it to my grandma. She pays for it. We get back home. And I, and my mom sees it. She looks at it. It's like, dude, this is not, she's just, you idiot. Like you bought, you bought one song. Like, why did you do that? And it was just like, it was like their hit. It was their single. Right. So it was like a hit. And then there's like uh, another version and then just like the audio instrumental. So um, I was like, okay, well, and I don't know how to do this. So for Christmas that following year, she gives me a uh, ACDC high voltage. And I would listen to it like every night before I went to bed, every night. And so I, I wanted to, that's one of the reasons why I started playing guitar. And then yeah. um, among, among a bunch of other reasons, but um, then I wanted to play like Angus Young. And I thought that was cool. Dude, you, you have hit, your hit. SG, you still have your SG? Oh yeah. 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 And I have a, um, a Gibson L Doba zero from 92, I think. Not that like, yeah. Good word. Oh yeah, that's dope. I, it's it's yeah. funny because like just knowing who you are, knowing like the taste of music and your influ- like a lot of the in- early influences stuff like that just makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, I've always kind of been like this. <laughs> Evan, <laughs> I'm curious to hear about yours, Evan, because I feel like um... I feel like we dipped into like the heavier stuff earlier wait wait i got it that I got a, park was super heavy but i got a question for everybody while you're thinking about your your um first album even who do you prefer uh bon scott or brian johnson for the mm-hmm. bon scott or brian johnson both lead singers of acdc bon scott is the only voice of acdc is brian no, johnson brian, the <laughs> scottish guy brian johnson's the scottish guy yeah oh they're, i like, they're, I like brian johnson did a a good Bon Scott impression. No, nah, it wasn't an impression. I don't think. But I think he, they were completely different. He he wasn't. He just didn't embody rock and roll. Dude, his debut album was Back in Black. I know. Uh, but okay, I that's feel what like, I'm thinking of. I feel like if you look at all of ACDC's works with Bon Scott, and all of ACDC's works with Brian Johnson, they just don't compute. And Back in Black is kind of misnomer there because it was their most selling album but bon scott wrote half of those songs before he died yeah okay 
Brian Johnson's lyrics just as far as were, voice, they were like you know I felt like he was just doing karaoke, you know, they, <laughs> they weren't like rock and roll. <laughs> oh man, I, I hope he doesn't hear prefer, this. <laughs> I think I preferred the pre back and black vocals too. Yeah, personally, my favorite is uh, "Highway to Hell." That's my that's my favorite tune. Either that or um, "Rock and Roll Star" or "Rock and Roll Singer." Yeah, rock and roll singer. Riff Raff is my all time favorite. Oh. And then was that? Yeah, um, I love that rapper, dude. <laughs> Riff Raff. <laughs> Riff Raff. Street Rat. Yep. I don't buy that. Oh my God. <laughs> is one of their songs, it was one of the ACDC songs, Beaten in the Bush or something like that? Is it, do, you, do you know what I'm talking about? Beaten dude, Around the I Bush. Don't. Oh, yeah, I'm like, who's whose bush are you beating, bro? <laughs> beating around the bush. I Sorry, saw, guys, I gotta go beat some bush. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. I saw an ACDC tribute band that was all chicks. Um, I forget what it was cool. called. They were pretty good. And they had a, like a sign language lady who was signing along to all the songs on the side. And they start playing She's Got Balls. She's got <laughs> balls, and they're ringing the gong. She <laughs> got ringing the gong. balls. <laughs> oh. and, and the sign for that was fucking hilarious. I was losing my shit. Like, here's this lady who's trying to be serious with it, and she's like, "He got balls. <laughs> <laughs> He's got balls." <laughs> oh my god! Oh my well, god! Dude, it's That's like awesome. the videos. It's like the sign language videos of like i just always think of the one the youtube video of the sign language the woman doing sign language for a waka flocka flame concert oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. That, have you guys firefly, seen that? dude uh, was that firefly that was firefly no way can mm-hmm. i pull that up i like haven't watched that in like forever yeah while well, he's pulling that up billy what's your what's your first yeah. album is yeah it? my first album or the album the that first changed album my life? that like changed you towards the way that you like kind of became awoken to music because we all listen to music as kids but it wasn't like whoa um so i i can't really pick an album because i didn't get into coheed through an album but coheed is a band that changed my life but i'd say that the album that changed like really cycled me into metal was city of evil by avenge sevenfold Mm -hmm. and anything system of the down i kind of like so i kind was... of fell into it all at the same time so it's kind of hard to remember like the heaviest thing i owned was hybrid theory before that but i never yeah. liked thinking Link really liked lincoln park that much back then i i think i skipped right oh, into dude, system obsessed. of the down and then system. it just like flew away from there dude, but i didn't listen so to until college which sucks Really? You didn't listen to Tool until college? You were seeing never... that for the first time when we were seeing it? Yes. <laughs> yes. If I thought I you had been watching this for years. In high school, I would have been, before that, it would have been so much better at the drums. I would have been like, I <laughs> need to be able to do this. And now it's just like, I can never do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I was discovering a lot of that shit. I didn't know about Periphery until Joe showed me Periphery and a lot of shit. Dude, Periphery 2 is a fantastic album. I think it explains a lot though like we all have that root it's like you it's a root that like then you're this like musical influence influential tree is growing and then it just kind of like all forks and splits up Branches to like out. different yeah exactly you like my metaphors here but like you but seriously like evan like you have always been like probably a heavier music listener that brought like people into like the heavier scene and it's kind of like oh well that makes a lot of sense that you started off listening to yeah to that sort of stuff like i've always something been that exposed can be said to my dad's about, what's up i was gonna say i've always i started with like just hearing stuff from my dad my dad right in like classic right. rock and whatever but when i finally chose to buy music it was it was like lincoln park at least right. the time of lincoln park where it was a little heavier and then you just kind of kept falling down keep falling down the rabbit hole and then you discover other things and that are completely different it's like oh wow this is really cool too yeah what what i was gonna say is there's something that can be said about friends who introduce you to new music especially new music that you connect with and like 
I like a lot of music, but I'm not really, I don't find myself recommending bands and stuff for people often, but all three of you guys have been like, I guess, influential in exposing me to new music that I never listened to. Love that shit. Yeah. Uh, same, and same for me for, you know, different yeah. things. Like I still remember James I was in your room, might've been freshman year when you introduced me to M Ward. And oh yeah, like, I was yeah, like, I it's like and, it's, and it's oh really? Yeah, it was and a free concert. It was awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, like cool. it's it's folk music. Like it was stuff that I was just never like into. Yeah, but I was like, but this is still kind of cool. Music. Yeah, it's like it's super like, duper it's artsy. Cool. It's chill. And yeah, then yeah, I like grew cool. to it's love that whole album. Uh, what is it like? Poison, the one with Poison Cup or Chinese mm-hmm. translation, whatever it is. Like that yeah, whole thing yeah, yeah. is like really cool. Yeah, that whole album is interesting, and it's just like it's yeah. good. It's I don't want to mean it. I don't want to have this sound like it's a it's a negative thing, but it, it's really good background music. Yeah, no, no, no. You know, I, like I, you can just put I it really on and chill, right? And yeah. you just like go about your day doing your taxes or making dinner or something like that. It's like it's just like that. It's it just makes an ambiance for your for your environment, rather than yeah, like that- something like System <laughs> where it's like it, it it demands attention, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and then there's other stuff from like outside influences that got me into things like like rap here. There it is. Yeah, it's Firefly Boy. Huh? What's the title? Oh, yeah. Oh, my That's goodness. great. That sounds like a fun show, too. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, except like all... you didn't come out until you only had 20 minutes left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was that – that was that was that Firefly? Yeah. I thought that was – Pretty damn sure. That's the chick from Firefly. I don't know if she does multiple festivals, but that's the chick from Firefly. Oh, word. Well, she's probably – she probably got so – popular after that this was have you seen the metal one you seen the one with the lamb with lamb of god no no that one's good she's like going crazy lamb of god that was another very influential band early early on i remember being uh like 16 and first listening to the ashes of the wake album and being like blown away i was like yeah this is beautiful (laughs) Yeah, it was wait, was that was Lamb of God or Arch Enemy the one that had the the female screamo singer? Chick, Arch Enemy. Yeah, I I don't know, Lady Screamos. It's it's good, but it just doesn't get my blood as hot as the other stuff, you know. Oh, bro, you gotta watch Ginger. Ginger? <laughs> Who? Oh. Can you share <laughs> this? So Ginger. like to me, so like I had no idea I Arch Enemy she was female. So I was just like, oh, okay. Like I just listened to it musically. It's like I, it wasn't wasn't I didn't care for it too much. But that was just because I didn't care for it musically. And I didn't even have no idea that she was even a girl. She needs an X. Oh, 
That, that, was, that was intense. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Dude, that's that's cool though. Dude, I wanna yeah, I, I was so surprised. I did not I thought it was gonna be like way higher pitch, but she sounded like she was just like fucking possessed. Like they they close up on, yeah. her, on her face, right? And she's like she's mouthing the words, but it's like how can that sound come from you? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it seems that better was than most dudes. Who yeah, I was gonna say yeah, like, who else yeah. are there other female Spirit box. Spirit? I don't know if you've heard them yet. Somebody introduced oh, yeah. me well, a that's, couple uh, months ago. And I was like, whoa. Was the, uh, yeah, Spirit Box is new. That was I wrestled the bear once. Really? Dude, how'd you so do? There was there was the lead singer for I Wrestled the Bear <laughs> once, which is when they were great, like they were cool. I saw them live and I'm like, I'm like listening to a breakdown and I'm like, is that the inspector gadget theme song? And they were literally breaking the and yes, it you know what? Maybe I'll just pull it up. And then I saw this live. My buddy just started the bar. like what no way oh man i was blown away and then i listened to more and then they had like they have weird songs like one song is called taste like kevin bacon i'm like yo these guys are hilarious <laughs> That's awesome. so like i i like that kind of music if we're going to a show and i can rage but that's not something I would ever pull up. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't know. You want to go on a lovely that's... Sunday drive? <laughs> I feel like after, after I watch a show, though, I can't help but remember, like when I go back to listen to their music, I can't, rem- I, I can't help but remember like the feeling I, that I was feeling when I was there in the show and kind of like, wow, this is like, it's like bringing, bringing it back. If I if I were just discovering a new band and listening to them for the first time, I'd probably just be like, Oh, I'd pass over them a little bit. But if I had seen them, it kind of makes me like want to listen to them a little bit more. It, like it kind of like, I remember the energy and like feel the energy more and the passion I connect with a little bit easier if I've seen them before. That's why festivals were cool because you just like, you see a bunch of people you've never heard of, but you just go because you got nothing else better to do. It's like, yo, these guys actually slap right now. Like, this is hot. Definitely. You gotta go to the right festival, though, right? If you're, if you're going to a festival and you don't have that expectation, yeah. right? Like, like it, you wouldn't go to, like, a punk festival to hear the best EDM. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why Firefly is cool because it's – I feel like it's super accessible. Like, you don't – versatile. To, uh, yeah, it's, it's very mainstream. Cool though. with drinking and smoking and just hanging out. It's perfect. You don't have to go there and be like, "Well, I'm not on Molly, so I can't enjoy any of this." You know, like <laughs> I don't think I could do an EDM festival without drugs. Like I think I'm like, "All right, it's hour six of dubstep. Like, what the <laughs> fuck do I do now?" You know, like. <laughs> Can't wait to see she more of the same like, wow, thing. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if this drop's going to be anything like the other 40 like, drops. I, oh, Stone Cold, Cold Sober. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stone Cold Sober, I don't think I could, I could do like EDM. There, I, no way. Um, but I agree with you, I Jules. Say, like, though. Dillinger is one of those bands. Like, If oh, I oh, never yes. saw them live, I'd be like, fuck this what the fuck this yeah, is like this is a little too much to handle <laughs> like some of their softer yeah. songs yes but then after seeing them live and you're just like oh my like God. it's like every time i like, hear the song i feel and see yeah and remember like, right exactly because that's like a live moments band. there you know like that's 100 percent a band that you have to see live you have or you're to not gonna experience get it. live yeah but then that brings up a good question. So I have an argument with one of my friends who's mainly his roots, I guess, in music is more soul. It's like jazz, funk, soul, uh, 70s, disco. 
and and a little bit of like you know r b and he's like i don't know how you listen to that it's just not music like it's just not at all i think he brings up a good point it's like well if you define music as you know a certain way let's say you take something like funk where everything is like crazy but it still works really well together like i understand what you're what you're saying especially if you've never gone to experience a concert but which is why i always tell people like it's one thing to listen to like metal and all that stuff it's another thing to go and experience a show like everyone should experience a show at least once even if you don't like it like great you went to a show but I think that like plays, it does for me at least play a big role in like how I've listened to that whole genre. Billion um, percent. I used to not like that kind of um, genre, like the screamo stuff. I didn't really like it in high school when like the whole emo scene came out. I wasn't crazy about the emo scene, but I mean, there's some stuff that grows on you. That's for sure. So yeah, it takes a lot of perspective yeah. to figure out what kind of music you're gonna like. If you don't have the right perspective for it, then you're yeah, probably not gonna like it. Right. I think it's kind of like bands that really changed my opinion on screaming. I, I was the same way. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. When you say when periphery, screaming, but it's like it's periphery, purposeful yeah. and it's artistic and like it's talented. It's and impressive. It's still, and it's, 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 it's not more just deliberate. For the sake of screaming, it's like exactly right. It's, and it's pretty clean. Periphery. It's right. pretty yeah, yeah. You hear the words. Yeah. They use that hybrid. They mix the two. So they're delib- he's deliberately making decisions as to when he's clean, when he's cleanly singing and when he's, and when he's screaming. So I th- think a lot of people think like this music is just like a mishmash of just like, Oh, whatever I can like mash together. But like, there's a genre and you know, Evan called like math core and there it's, everything is very Don't deliberate. You. Right. Exactly. Everything is deliberate. Like every, when you look at, the writing of the like the musical sheets and stuff and i don't i have no idea about this stuff but it's all a little it's more deliberate than people think it's calculated there are things that are like happening for certain reasons you're using algorithms to write music no Pretty much but not that is, far yeah. well i mean i guess technically <laughs> but it's kind of what it is yeah but not like that but um but yeah it's like yeah, it's cool you it's take organized art, chaos it's really right. what it is yeah Dillinger has a they well they had they don't tour anymore right no they had a crazy they all their shows were like out of control that was probably the apart from like the number of people at system shows at this at the Dillinger show um when when we saw him in Poughkeepsie you know I mean like that was like the the kid right in front of me the the gets his nose busted open from the body <laughs> of the lead guitarist. They're from Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and like, so like the lead guitarist is like on top of us and he's like, just, and all this is like chaos is happening around us with the, the guy drumming like he's got eight arms. And we throw the lead guitarist back on stage and the kid with the busted nose turns around. He throws his hands up. He's like, yeah. It's like, dude. And everyone's go. like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Put that away. Uh, yeah, don't bleed on me, dude. Like, go to the back. Go to the bathroom or something. Clean it up. I never I got think... to see Dillinger live. Uh, you did when we were at uh, Amnesia. At Amnesia, right. I didn't. I missed the oh, show. Cause the cause backpack. Oh, because the backpack. The backpack. That sucks. Whoa. I was there both times. That festival. I know. Yeah, I know. I, I totally like missed the that creme, one. The creme de la creme. And yeah. they have not had a lineup since. And I have not seen a lineup since that fe- like that festival. That Dude, festival. That festival that- was just like banger after banger after banger after Unbelievable. banger after it was just like everybody was a heavy hitter. Most of those guys, like on especially on like Saturday and Sunday, most of those guys probably could have been headliners. Yeah, you would never see that that kind of like Slayer, Tenacious D, you know. You're gonna say you saw Slayer, yeah. right? Coheed and Cambria, Lincoln Park, Corn, Rob Zombie, Deftones. But like with oh, yeah. that many big KY, they it's could so all down. be headliners. Like everyone had seen Slayer before, so the pit God. For Slayer were not that interesting. Right. But the pit for Gogol Bordello. Oh yo, yeah, that was so much amazing. Because <laughs> it was so different. It was fresh. The hardies, it was gonna rock the fuck out. Yeah, oh. exactly. Yo, the strangest people. Like as soon as the like the melody started, the strangest people. 
just like literally came out no, of the you ground. You smelled them before you saw them. Those were raw. Right. Gypsy. <laughs> you like you like turned around, and there was just like all these people from like some magical world that just all they do is do mushrooms and don't brush their teeth. <laughs> it's crazy. Yo, dude, the they band got like looks like, like they just do mushrooms and hair don't brush and shit. their teeth. It was nuts, and they came like I. I just remember explicitly thinking, like, w- like you don't see these people walking around. Like, where the fuck did you guys come from? <laughs> right? Did you just park outside and walk in? Like, I-, I haven't seen you at the campsite. I don't know where you came from. <laughs> They're, like, camping in the woods out back or something. That poor festival. Rip. Good Rest in peace. Yeah. You want to do, like, a sign-off, but then not necessarily end the chat? Yeah. How do, how do you sign off? Where do, I, where do I put my pen? I'm going to ask you if you got any final <laughs> thoughts on the things we talked about tonight. Okay, cool. So, James, <laughs> do you have any final thoughts on the things that we talked about tonight? That was well done. Um, <laughs> I regret that too many times. <laughs> Just with that energy. Um, <laughs> final thoughts. Energies. I got to um, I gotta find some more morels because they're, <laughs> they're delicious. <laughs> that was the <laughs> biggest takeaway. They're delicious. You gotta yeah. do a morel of the week. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I mean, like, that you're, you're, you're setting the bar really high for yourself because now we expect you to show up with morels all the time. <laughs> with multiple Dude, they, morels. They're only gonna be good until like the beginning of the summer. Otherwise, and then they're, and then well, they're done. Some hunting to do. Yeah, and I can find you some others. Some foresting to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was cool. I like music festivals, and um, music is about perspective. That's, those are my final thoughts for the evening. Ev? Yes. Uh, I still stand by my giant duck. Agreed. The, the I think giant, you're a fool. The single giant duck. I think, in, okay, whatever. Well, agree to disagree. <laughs> agree to disagree. Agree. Agree. I'm going to do the math. I'm going to crunch the numbers so that we. I'm going to present the numbers to duck. next time. And do it by height and then do it by weight. Time. Yeah, sure. The dark and then, and then, you want, James. But, but like, that's not even – the argument isn't even, like, what the animal is anymore. The argument is what you define size to be. I mean, that's what, I that's already what told we've been you, I already told you what I define size to but be. But you did it after the fact. Duh. You did it after you got my answer. So but your answer I look like an asshole. <laughs> 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 Clearly, there was a misunderstanding on my part, so forgive me. I'll, I'll never forgive you. you. I know. Jules? I agree with Evan. Good. That's cool. The, yes. the day life is the superior life, and the rest of America needs to get on board. Um, and horse sized duck. Horse sized duck. Regardless of the, the size of the duck's penis. Yes. Because I <laughs> don't, I'm not worried about the duck becoming aroused. While I'm well, if he knows he's in battle, what if he takes pleasure in beating the shit out of you, that's true too. The duck's gonna have like this huge. Be- it's a tough decision. All, my biggest point of, for this whole thing is like I think you can convince me one one way or the other. Right now, it's horse sized duck for me. But the thing is, is, it's just not an easy answer. That's my biggest thing. I think I'm a little upset that James was just he's just too smart for me to. Yeah, uh, to fight him on it. He's like, no, absolutely. There's just one way. There's and that's it. <laughs> just hearing you say "horse-sized duck" makes me <laughs> makes me laugh. Horse-sized duck. Uh-huh. You lost? Uh, well, I think the more important question we should be asking ourselves because why does it have to be all about fighting? Would you rather eat a horse-sized duck or have to eat a hundred duck-sized horses? Oh, I'd rather, duck. Yeah, I'd rather eat the giant duck. Horse meat. Well, there you go. go. I don't know. This has been the most delightful hour of all y'all's lives. Good night. I love you. All right. Crispy duck.